You guys, there's no magical technique. All the techniques work, actually. You are actually the solution. Your belief in yourself and your belief in the law and trusting yourself in this process is your solution, right? And Neville always says the solution is also your thing, right? Like the solution to your problem. I think in one of his books, he says something like when you're in jail, the solution is freedom, right? The solution is what you desire. So anytime you're in a stuck place or in a, in a, in a situation you don't like, your solution to that situation is always your desire. And you know why that's true? It's because when you're in your desire, all of those little nitpicky problems won't even exist, right? If you're trying to, you know, kind of like meddle, like let's say you get a wrong text or not so nice text or a situation, little tiny situations you'd want to, you know, kind of meddle with and, and, and try to little like fix all these little things. Well, you don't have to do that, right? Because the solution is just to get in your end, to be in your end, to practice living in your end, to be in the solution, right? You want to be the solution. What's that 70s phrase? If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, right? So if you are not with your solution, meaning with your end, with your desire, in that reality, living in that place in your mind, right? You know, living in your 4D, verifying, validif validi val val validating, <laughs> sorry, validating yourself with your own 4D and your mind and your internal world, right? If you're not doing that, you're part of the problem, right? You're contributing to the problem if you look at it that that way, right? Like that being said, I'm going to talk a little bit about robotic affirming. What, why I think two reasons why I believe you should use it or uh, circumstances where it's beneficial to use in my opinion and also some successes some recent successes uh, you know things popping in my reality things coming to fruition um, that I'd like to just share with you guys for some motivation please excuse my hair also it's like this when it's humid okay unless I straighten it or something it gets kind of wavy and wild so um <laughs> sorry about that guys but anyway let's get into it so the robotic affirming has been going well sometimes I don't even I just wanted to specify what I actually do when I'm doing it um I actually don't even maybe repeat it as much as some of some people who do robotic affirming I'm not really repeating it that often sometimes I just repeat it one or two times if I pick a sentence I like and just repeat it a couple times and then I just simply say it is done or some sort of clarification at the end like and so it is or you know something to sort of like set it free knowing that I'm the operant power I'm the I am of course it's gonna be like that right so um, I have a very strong belief in um, myself being the opera in power and things like that. So it is easy for me to just say it once or twice and just think that it's finished and think that, you know, it's done because I just know that it's already done. And so once I say it, I know that I'm claiming it, if that makes sense. So that's more how I do robotic affirming, except for these two um circumstances that I would do it differently right so the first one is if you are in crunch mode like let's say you're getting a response from someone in two hours or you finding out if you qualify for something or you are in the middle of some crisis and you need something quickly okay then I then I would say it over and over and over you know one one or two sentences and I would continue to repeat it because either you're you know it would be a situation where you're worried about something or you just can't get your mind off of it and it's a something that's happening right now right so um so it'd be something that you would would need immediately or, or pretty much immediately you know within a couple hours or something like that then then I think robotic affirming is really really powerful in that situation right when you can't get your mind off of it and when you need something and it's kind of an acute situation right an acute just means like 
right here right now right and you don't have like weeks to wait or whatever like you need it now you know you don't have you don't have time to wait for sats at night or wait till everything's calm and then you know you know make a list of cool affirmations or you know write it out do scripting or whatever like you don't really have time for any other technique then i really think robotic affirming is is amazing right um the other instance that i think it's amazing for is when you i just have things written down here so um is when you have um you have tons of resistance or lots of opposing thoughts right and those are pretty much the same thing but so if you're going if you if you know you have tons of opposing thoughts to something and you keep getting it like it's it's a battle for you and you just you can't uh it, you're, you're getting into a cycle or you notice you're not in the state most of the time and you keep going back no matter what you do right let's say you tried everything and and your your mind's just stuck on all the details or stuck on all the nitty-gritty in the 3d right then i think that's another time where robotic affirming is really effective okay and these are just some more just my little notes from doing it experimenting with it and i am actually new to robotic affirming as well because it's not the way i was brought up manifesting right brought up creating um i i've said this in many videos but you know i've been doing this for a long time but i was never into i think robotic affirming might be a newer thing but you know uh Neville never uses that term, you know, it's, it's a newer thing. So anyway, these are just my two, two situations where I feel like it's really, really effective. And so, you know, um, I think there are people who use it for just general stuff, like just normal everyday things. But when I have more time or I'm more relaxed about something, I generally just um, tend to get in the state you know claim the i am and then either drop it or whatever if there's not a lot of resistance i just kind of let it go and know that it'll come in its pointed hour or something or i do sats right so something like that where it's more low-key i'm more of a low-key person not focused on time don't really mind when things come because i know things are always coming to me right like and i do believe that things come in there in the in the time that i'm ready for them right so um i kind of just let things come in their in their own time after i know they're mine you know after i claim them and i'm like okay this is gonna happen for me so um i'm gonna give you some amazing stuff that's happened that i i thought that would be motivational for you guys just to hear you know some of the things that have been that i've been robotic affirming on or about and that have already come to fruition um, that I may have thought about before and wanted to um, change, you know, but then then I I was experimenting with robotic affirming, so then I decided just to use it on, on these things. So um, I'll just start in with it. There's lots of stuff. So um, my sister moved back close by. She had moved further away, and I just kept affirming that she's close by now like that's it I just said one thing I just said one affirmation so my sister's close by I'm so happy she's close by like I just kept repeating that and I didn't even do it all day I just did it um on loop when I felt like it and every time I thought about her I would I just in my head was like I'm so glad she's close by that's it that's it that's literally it okay so it was quick um and that took about I would say like two weeks, right? But I wasn't doing it the whole, I wasn't robotic affirming the whole time, right? I have some examples of things that I did like a lot of immediately right in a row that came to fruition right in the moment that I was doing it. So so, so just, there's a couple other things that were more acute. So my, one other one was my dad had a kidney, kidney pain and that has, um, has been an indicator of cancer before like he has this lymph lymph stuff or lymph cancer he had in the past um and that's the way it started before so my family was a little bit worried and i just simply said um i'm so glad dad's kidneys don't hurt anymore and i that's all i said i'm so glad his kidneys feel fine he told me his kidneys feel fine. That's literally, I just repeated those two sentences. Usually I typically pick two sentences, especially if I just want to re 
repeat something over and over, two sentences really works for me, you know, because four is quite a lot to remember. One kind of doesn't get me, get me feeling anything at all. So two really related sentences really are my, that's my, um, my little key, right? That's my perfect, perfect, um, situation I've realize in order when when I really want it something quickly right I just re loop two sentences um so yeah so I said he he his kidneys no longer hurt he just told me his kidneys don't hurt anymore he his kidneys feel fine his kidneys have been fine they feel fine he feels fine you know any kind of whatever I thought of in the moment that was that oh just said he feels fine his kidneys are fine they don't hurt anymore something like that so then and literally not kidding like two days later I was talking to him on the phone and he's like oh yeah I just wanted to tell you um whatever you did worked because I was like oh yeah I'll work on you because my dad he doesn't really know what I do so I just tell him don't worry I'll work on you <laughs> and then he's like okay cool thanks but he's he believes whatever it is works he just doesn't really know what I do so it, it's fine like I'm just like dad I'll work on you don't worry He's like, you and I know what we did, okay? You and I know the secret. We know what we did. So, um, um, I had a rash on my neck that actually went away in a night, like overnight. And I had a huge meeting, uh, then the next day. And I was like, oh no, I can't go to work with this huge. I literally had like a square, really red rash, like all down here. And it was bumpy and looked very irritated and it was itchy. And I couldn't, I couldn't even sleep that well. So, I just repeated on repeat um, and it stopped itching and then I went to sleep. So I guess I kind of used the lullaby, but it was robotically. So I'll just say it's like robotic lullaby method, right? So I was actually going to bed in that moment. So it was as I was falling asleep, I repeated, my neck is to totally fine. There's no rash. There's no rash. My neck is totally fine. The meeting went amazing. Like I was thinking about the meeting too. So that's another thing I robotically affirmed about because I had this huge presentation for um, the eco company that I work for, um, and it, there was a lot of big wigs there and I was a little nervous. I'm pretty good. I'm actually better, believe it or not. I'm not great at this kind of filming stuff. I'm better in person. Like when I can look at people's faces, there's something about looking at people and connecting with them. This feels very awkward still for me, but in person, I actually do really well at giving presentations and stuff, but this particular time was very nerve wracking because there was a lot of big wigs there. So I was, I was nervous. Um, I wore like a suit and it was a, it was a big show. It was a big show. It had, I had slides and stuff. So, um, anyway, it went really well. Like everyone commended me afterwards. So that was another thing I literally robotically affirmed for two days and that's it. And it wasn't that much. It was whenever I thought about it, I robotically affirmed. And I, and when I robotically affirm, I just repeat it. I don't do it for 10 minutes straight. I realized I was timing myself thinking, do I, do I really do this for 10 minutes? And no, I don't. I only do it for like four or five minutes. Not even, I probably only do it for three minutes, but it's just until I feel satisfied. Just like Neville says, like when you're satisfied, you can stop. Like when you've had a good, amazing meal, you know, you, you feel satisfied. Like you can, you can stop when you're satisfied. And when I get to that place, even with robotic affirming, I use the same principles as everything else Neville teaches, right? I just stop when I feel satisfied and that's it. And if it comes up again, I do it again for like two minutes or something, or even sometimes one minute until I feel satisfied and then I'm done. So that's my way of robotic affirming. I don't know if you guys will resonate with that. Let me know if you do or what you do instead, because I would actually like to know. I think it's interesting um, because I have heard a lot of successes with it and also people using it differently. So please let me know down below what you guys actually do because I, I am interested. Um, I'm also gonna be giving away another session for anyone who's newer to the Law of Assumption. And I, I just felt like it'd be a, a fun, it's gonna be a half hour session. And it's for anyone who wants to figure out what techniques or wants a plan on how they are gonna best materialize their whatever they're wanting right or or a few different things right um and i thought i would just give away another free session because i love doing them i learn a lot and especially i love the sessions where we're figuring out 
what um, some like some limiting stuff that might be going on or any kind of you know wanting to figure out what techniques work for them or what kind of learner they are like that stuff is so interesting to me so anyway <coughs> oh my goodness excuse me <laughs> oh my gosh I think I have dander in my mouth from the little girl okay so anyway hopefully that was helpful I just wanted to give you guys an update on my robotic affirming where I think it's used best and how I've been using it I think there was one more thing that I did um one more manifestation that I've that I've done in the last week oh yes I also wanted to make more money with less time at all the stuff I do right because I'm, I'm really passionate about I do lots of different projects in my life and um, I wanted to work less hard and have better results so I've been just saying that I work as much as I want and have amazing I'm, I have an amazing income or just you know I put a dollar amount on it but I'm getting to that place right so I haven't seen it fully come to fruition but I can see my income increasing and my workload going down, which is exactly what I wanted. So um, I wanted to be more efficient, right? And, and to be producing amazing things with, with less time, right? So that was for my, a few projects that I'm working on um, as well as this project too. So as well as all my projects. Um, so, more free time and I wanted to have more time to do other things like make art or do sewing like I love sewing so I wanted to have more free time to do those kinds of things so um, I'm getting to the point where I do have more free time for myself now so that's very exciting so I just wanted to update you guys I hope you love this video thumbs me up and let's see what can you comment to win the coaching um, oh I got a good one Kookaburra sits on the old gum tree. Finish that sentence. It's a, it's like an Aussie uh, <laughs> poem or maybe it's a song. I think it's an Aussie song. Okay. So I call her the kookaburra sometimes. <laughs> she's such a, she gets, when she's misbehaving, she hardly ever misbehaves. But when she does, I call her a little kookaburra. But kookaburra sits on the old gum tree. Da 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 da. <laughs> anyway. If you can finish that sentence, you can look it up or whatever if you want, but just comment that below or, or any other comment you want to make is totally good. And, um, I'm going to have my sister pick again, um, whoever for coaching, right? She'll just pick a name, someone who, who want a person who comments, she's going to go through and just pick someone randomly. Okay. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you for being here. I hope you love this video. If you loved it, please thumbs me up. And if you love Neville, changing your life, transformation, law of assumption, and my perspective. Stick around. I'd love to have you guys. Bye guys.